I'm old. I really have no idea what it would be like to be able to be in Woodward Skate Park, but I do realize that a lot of times when I see skateboarders who are just tremendously good at a very young age, they are skateboarders who were featured on the YouTube channel of Woodward, which is actually great, super high quality stuff. Here comes a car towards me, what do you want? But what about me? I wanna go. I actually, I feel like I've talked about this before in a different video. And then I woke up and I realized that my parents would never spend $1,500 for me to go skateboarding for five days. Either way, I am in the streets today. We're gonna be skateboarding and exploring as we're talking about the subject of being just a little too old for Woodward, which is unfortunate. And a new Woodward that has arrived in this country that I'm excited about. Ah, uh, there's someone in there. There's people like right here at the door. I'm gonna head out. Let's just skate the park. <laughs> I'm sick of trying to find street spots on weekdays. I've always loved the idea of Woodward, but when it was finally time for me to go, when I was at the ripe old age of like 24, I went, uh, and it's kind of exhausting. I think that's the ironic thing about something like Woodward. When you're finally old enough to be able to go and make it on your own and afford it, uh, you, you get tired in like three hours. Like that's about how long I can go. Nevertheless, I had an amazing time and I've always wished that there was just a Woodward that was more around society to where you could just drive to a 7-Eleven or get some groceries, which is not where it be is now. I think that's why I get so excited about this new camp that kind of came out in America recently. Uh, this isn't sponsored, but a lot of my friends from the Progress Daily crew actually got to go there for a weekend and nobody was really there yet. So it was just a group of like, eight homies just hanging out, camping all weekend, but I still don't know if there was society close by. And since so many of you keep up with the Progress Daily channel and follow my guys who skateboard uh, everywhere and just make the, my, some of my favorite content straight up on YouTube, I'm gonna end this video with the highlights from that trip, like all the best tricks they've done. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna test out my new flat rail. I wanted to get like five to seven more tricks, but it's like 93 degrees today, so my camera overheated, but I feel fine. I feel like I'm used to this like crazy summer heat, um, and I could just keep going, but this guy can't. Now I have two flat rails, and I'm about to buy a launch ramp just to carry with me wherever I go, because sometimes in the streets, it's difficult to find a spot that you wanna skate, so for me to have extra stuff in my car that I can just pull out is, is amazing. So once I get the launch ramp from the shred quarters, my trifecta 
car skate mobile will be complete. And even as a kid, I wouldn't have enjoyed something like Woodward, maybe, because I was very socially anxious, and I think, well, maybe that could have been the perfect thing to make me, uh, you know, more okay with humans around me, but I feel like at the time it would have been way too stressful, so I'm kind of glad that I just kind of stuck in the streets with my friends and grew up that way, because I feel like it lent a whole new identity to my skateboarding and my friends' skateboarding. So they're all, there's always a win, or maybe that's just rationalization for not being lucky enough to go to Woodward as a child. So without further ado, here is some footage from the ranch camp. It's the new Woodward type. I'm sure they probably don't like that name, and I'm sure they're not even trying to compete. They just wanted to build their own facility, and dear lord, they are building like their own Woodward. It is amazing what they've built so far, as you can see from the intro clip. So enjoy this final montage of all of the Progress Daily squad killing it. Also, ProgressDaily.com if you want to help support this channel, and uh, maybe I'll start uploading two videos a week because I'm like really enjoying making videos again recently, and I feel like it took like living in Texas for six months to get me back on that train. So if you did enjoy this video, let me know down below and enjoy the rest of this video. Take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it! What's up? Dude? We're one of the first people to visit the park, <laughs> show you kind of a <laughs> basic day in the life here. I'm gonna show you all the little things <laughs> and uh, just skate around. Covered wooden ball with pool coping on that side. I mean, this thing looks amazing. We're staying here for a couple of days, so we're gonna just be hanging out. Hey, what's up? Oh, no, this guy's up. Shower. Oh, this is gonna be where we will be at tonight. If I was a kid and my parents were like, would you like to go here? I would, I'd probably freak out and yeah. cry. Get that fish and give it back. This one will be good with the gas. Gold wing, double trucks, it's pretty long. Hit some dirt jumps today. Lucky and happy that Cryer was here. Humbly show you guys Dan and I skating this ball. Stop! <laughs> <laughs>
doing that? <laughs> I swear to God, I'm giving you some good content. You're that. so good at that. That's no, crazy. I actually kind of did it though. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when three skaters stop messing around and start getting real. <laughs> oh, I wanted to give a major shout out to our Baja Blast subscriber of the week, oh. Rafael Jenkins. Uh -huh. Rafael, if you're watching, Dude. thank you. You've just won the Baja Blast cruise to the Cancun Islands. Get in the blast. Get in the blast. He's eating you. Is it? Bye, Dan. So long. Carnival.